Okay, I've got the subfloor in for the shower. I'm going to attempt to fit the shower into place. Now, if I did everything right, that should be right flat. There it is. Good. There it is. Right through. Okay, now the trick is going to be to make sure that I don't move the board underneath. Make sure there's enough playroom in here to get that shower in place. Yep, it's going to be all right. Could have gone a little bit wider on the very outside edge is hanging, but there's enough plastic under there. It should be fine. The weight will be all in the middle. I made sure there's I've got two by sixes. I've got five two by sixes underneath this. There's only a an inch gap here, an inch gap there, and a quarter there, and a quarter there. So pretty much the entire floor of the shower is supported in any given point. And I cut that pretty tight here, the tight tolerances, so that there's no real stress on the drain either. So if somebody's standing right on the drain, it's not going to put too much stress on that part. So now I have to lift this straight up and then come in here with screws and go and secure that straight down to the floor below. Now if I do my job right, I should hopefully be able to drop this right in place when I'm done, as long as I don't move that board under there. So, let me get some screws. I'll be back in a minute. Okay. sure this doesn't move. Now there's a floor joist so that'll be really strong going through that. Okay. few on the edges of this wood so that the uh, that it doesn't curl up. Ow. You just ripped a hole. Yeah I just shredded my finger. Yeah that's gonna bleed. Punched it 
right in. Yep, that's going to be a good one. Phillips screwdriver right through the fingertip, or edge of the finger. too many screws. I get accused of that a lot. Well that's not gonna move on me. And you want it level so you don't want this wood curling up ever. It's gonna be all right. I do. Yeah. One here. All right. I just want to get two more screws, but you don't have to be bored with that. be the final drop in Beginnings of a shower. All right. Huh. I'm going to take a little break. There it is. The shower in the tiny house on wheels. Huh. Should be able to stand on it. Huh. Yeah, it's going to be good. Let me back up the camera a bit and see if I can get a full view there. Not quite sure. Let me turn the camera viewfinder. Not quite sure if you'll be able to see me fully. Yeah. I've got plenty of headroom and uh, it's going to work out. It's going to be good. It's not the biggest shower in the world, but who needs a giant shower in a tiny house on wheels? <sighs> Good. The shower head will be here, so I'll be able to stand here and do my thing, whatever. It's going to be alright. Just make sure I can wash my hair without hitting my hands. Good. It's going to be good. I'm going to have to have the shower head pretty high up though. Yeah. I like it. It's coming along. Little explanation about uh, the temperatures in here. Okay, the thermometer does get a little bit of a higher rating in the sun. It's not in direct sunlight, but it's showing 99 degrees. Although it might be around 100 there. But it is on the edge of the sunlight. It's 26 out. 99 there, but this one is showing 82, so that's probably closer to it. Now my outdoor one there, the battery quit, so I'll have to redo that. And the time is not right. The, this thing fell off the shelf, and uh, I have to reset the time. But it's 82, 83 degrees in here and rising, with the wood stove damped right down. Reason being, sun. Sun radiating inside the house and the heat being trapped. So... Any sunny day in the winter, this is a very good passive solar heated house. 
very very good there's uh, sun shining down there it shines in over here well I'm blocking it but still it is a very good passively solar heated house and traps the sun's heat really does a nice job so I can shut the stove right on down damp it down to nothing getting the shower stall put together forgive me for not showing it all it was a nightmare to figure this stuff out how to do it alone it was a serious nightmare to figure this out uh, but I'm getting it it's flimsy really flimsy material Until you get it together. This slides into a rail. This was meant to be a one man job or not, though. Oh, ah. See, I'm letting you watch me do one, see what I dealt with on the rest of them. Sorry, I got interrupted by a phone call, which I just muted. You've seen me do this live, as I promised. And this is what they say. You're supposed to use a hammer, but I don't see how you'd use a hammer. Got to get them in the slots. I'll have to put silicone in the slots later. For now, that's just sitting there. They want you to silicone seal the base. And then I've got the top to put on. Let me bring it over. The top will probably help shore that up, strengthen it some.
Okay, now the top is somewhat going in place. Now there it snaps in. Okay, this top snaps in nicely. Good. Oh wow, and the holes line up. How perfect. Good. The holes line up in the top piece very well. Very good. Happy when that happens. Oops, that one isn't. Oh, there it is. Very good. Oh, yes, very good. And it comes apart as I go, huh? Think I've got it. Got me a shower stall. <sighs> sort of. <laughs> it's not very strong. It's really flimsy. I still have to put the center rail in though. The uh, has a soap dish and stuff. What do you think, baby cat? I'm gonna go check it out. Go on in there. Go inside. You wanna go inside there? Go sniff it up. Go smell it. Well, door stall, that's the one it has got a built-in shower curtain, uh, rod, it just hangs up in here, it snaps in place on both sides, and then it comes with a shower curtain as well. Oh, there's the Model 68 series, anybody that's interested. I got that online from Home Depot, and uh, well, there it is. See now I've got the space yet for the bathroom sink, it goes over here, and I think, I'm not yet sure how I'm going to work that with the baby cat's litter box, i got to figure something out with that, but I've got to get some uh, caulk and seal that floor before I secure that down on the bottom. I can do the uh, the sides. I'll do that in a few minutes here. It's coming together. There's my bathroom. Bathroom in the tiny house on wheels. I've got a shower. Huh? What do you think? Got a baby cat playing with me. Hi. She loves to play right here. It's coming together. But it's not going to be a really sturdy shower, not at all, not by a long shot, but it's going to be a shower. It's going to be really flimsy when it's done. Honestly, it's not a very, not really going to be a very steady, strong shower. You wouldn't want to fall over <laughs> if you fell. If you lost your balance and fell against the wall of this shower, you'll probably find yourself laying against the opposite wall. So this is definitely not a shower for shaky people unless you put a, a, a strong wall on the outside edge of it which I might consider doing anyway. I think I'll end up putting a frame on here just for safety and strength and secure it to the ceiling, tie it in up top and in the back wall because this is just not really going to be very sturdy. going to be very sturdy. It's a shower. It'll do its job. I'm just trying to be open and honest with you about the uh, 
the strength. It's super light. It's perfect for tiny homes. I'll tell you what, this is the best for tiny homes. For lightweight, this is really light. This is really lightweight. This is the ultimate tiny home shower stall. So, that's taking on some more rigidity. Once they get the bottom wall, I mean, it's not going to be perfect. Once they get the bottom fastened, which I'll do once I get some, some caulk or silicone sealer. Let me see if there's enough light. I don't have the, uh, the LED light on here. Let me get my headlight on. I'll be right back. I won't even pause. There's no point. I'll just give you a little tour of the new shower stall. Put my headlight on dim, so I don't need it super bright in here. So, let me widen that out. I do love this new headlamp, by the way. This is the one I think it was from Irish Kitty. It's very static electric, so it's static conducting. So as you put it together, you're going to get a lot of hairs and anything else on the floor on it. So there's the, um, there's the soap rack over here, and there's the deep dish holder over here, I guess, for people that shower and brush your teeth in the shower. Um, there's cat hairs all over. Yeah, it's heavily static electric. But, see there's that goes all the way around and that offers some strength to the uh, side walls of the shower. Again, it's, it's flexible. It's, it's not strong stuff. So you really don't want to get something like this if you're not a strong uh, person on your feet. And it's got some some stainless... Whoa. Messed up my camera's display there. It's got some stainless steel uh, uh, screws around the ends, tying it in there. And on the outside, it's got these big plastic washers, which go into the arm, grips the rails. So, I'm excited. I'm really excited now. I can't wait to try this out and have a shower in my tiny house on wheels. This is really cool. And there's a drain, everything's going to be good. All I've got to do is put caulk all the way around the bottom edges and then shove it in place and then put the screws in and I'll have a shower. That's it. That's all there is left to do. Um, there's, oh, there's the threshold, which I'll do last as well. There's the threshold. And that'll be it. Caulk that floor, screw that down, and I'm done. I wish I had thought of caulk when I did this, but you know, when I opened this box up, I didn't know. I think it's going to be good. Got the new shower and a tiny house on wheels. Nice. And there's plenty of room next to the toilet, so it's not crowded at all. Not at all crowded. Plenty of space there. So my, you can see you enter, there's plenty of room to come in, plenty of room. I, I hate a crowded bathroom. I know a lot of the tiny homes have really, really tiny and tight bathrooms because they have not a lot of space, but I went a bit wider so that I can have a comfortable bathroom. I've got to put trim around the bottom, all the way around the bottom edges to keep dirt and filth from getting under there anyway, but that'll come, but it's pretty cool. It's really neat. I'm happy. And of course the bathroom sink will go in here, right in this slot where the cat litter box currently is. She's going to get evicted. I'm not quite sure what I'll do about that yet. Maybe I'll get a smaller litter box for her right now. i got to do some thinking on that because that's a pretty gigantic litter box. And she's a little cat. So I might be able to try to get a, um, a small litter box that fits underneath the bathroom sink. That would be the best. Because the bathroom is the best place for the cat's bathroom. Why not? Well, guys, tell me what you think. Um, let me see here. Let me um, go inside. Hold on, I'm going to try to prop my headlamp up for you so you got light. And I'm going to... See, there's plenty of room here. Um, what I find gross, often I've had in the bathrooms where you brush against the toilet as you're getting into the shower, but here... There's, there's plenty of room, it's not going to be an issue, there's plenty of room to come on in and hop into the shower. 
without hitting the toilet. There's there's enough, there's about, uh, I'd say a good 18 to 20 inches between the shower and the toilet here. So this is really going to be perfect. I'm really ha liking this. I'm really happy with how it's turning out. Now the, um, the water connections I'm going to have on the side wall, but I'm not sure yet. I have to drill out holes for that, and I've got to mount all that. Thing is, I'm not quite sure how I want to work that because I I do have to put my bathroom sink in right, right here, and I've got to leave room. But I think what'll of course the bathroom sink will be lower, and then I'll have a little bit of a a, a wall there for that. So it might work out all right. And then probably the medicine cabinet will cover this entire wall here. A little mirror above the bathroom sink. It's coming along. I'm feeling good.